Hi guys, this is Tor from TC here in uh, LA with uh, Lee Rittenauer. It's a huge honor to be here. Uh, thank you. Uh, honor to work for you guys. Well, and uh, we're here to do a tone print. Uh -huh. um, and we got a bunch of TC pedals hooked up here. We do. Uh, and the first one we have hooked up here is the uh, flashback delay. Mm -hmm. Great unit. You're, well, you guys are always advertising about keeping the tone, but it's really true. You keep all the tone very. Yeah unity gain and, and keep it clear and this it feels like it's not changing your the, the player's sound at all. Huh. Um, well, where we might want to go is is something that is a ping pong but then sometimes when I'm playing lead with some distortion I do like to have some some modulation on yeah. the tail. Yeah. I think it's nice. Let me try it with a distortion yeah. for a minute. We spent some time dialing something in that, that I hope you like. Absolutely. Um, and well, to do a quick recap of you know what we've been doing. First of all, you play in a stereo a lot, as you mentioned earlier. So yeah, uh, either with my boogies or the fenders sometimes on the road, and uh, also in the studio, but um, uh, especially on the road. And uh, I, I like the the big sound. Sometimes I have a third amp, the boogie in the middle, and the fenders on the outside, left and right, which yeah. is, uh, and all three are getting tone. But uh, today we, we dialed up the, the stereo flashback and, and got a, a very uh, somewhat common, probably, a ping pong sound, but with some mods, ni some nice mods on it. Yeah. And you can tell the folks yeah. about it. Well, I mean, first of all, yeah, it's a, it's a stereo ping pong sound. And um, you took away a little bit of the highs and a little bit of the lows as well, just to kind of have it blend a little better with, mm -hmm. you know, so that it doesn't get too... I don't know what to call it, washy or something. So or, you kind or, of lose the or too much in your face, because yeah. in my band, you know, I'm not doing parts as much as I'm the the lead sound. I'm the horn. I'm the voice. Yeah. So you know, it's it's really in the tone of the guitar, and the effects I use are, are somewhat subtle. Yeah. You know, so uh, uh, whether it's distortion or clean or jazz or on the nylon uh, guitar, yeah. but I like the delay running most of the time, just as a little ambient sound mixing with the stereo reverb yeah. as well, you know. And uh, we also added just a s tiny little bit of saturation just to kind of warm up the, mm -hmm. the delays a little bit. Right, so it's not too cold or digital. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. And in the center position, which is, you know, what you'll be playing with, so you download the tone print and put everything at 12 o'clock, you'll, you know, get the sound that you're using. It's roughly around 400, 440 milliseconds, and then I think maximum is around a second or something like that. Cool. Yeah. Can we so we're going to have two variations. This one is with uh, the uh, no modulation yeah. on the, the actual delay. So we've got the delays fairly prevalent now. Now if we uh, uh, dial in the mod modulation, so then sometimes you can hear it easier on the distortion. Cool. So. Uh could you come up with a name for the two, the two delays? Well, that's, uh, a lot of my friends call me Rit, you know, short for Rit Nauer. Uh, so we'll call it uh, Rit Ping Pong, no mod, and with mod, I guess. Cool. <laughs> Something like that. Is that too long? No, that's great. Rit Ping Pong. Sounds good to me. That's cool. <laughs> Thanks so much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. See you in the tone print world. Yeah. <laughs>